What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm 23 weeks pregnant, Claudia. And this is a total body workout to build strength and lean muscle. The only equipment required for today's routine is a pair of dumbbells, and the weight that you use is completely dependent upon your fitness level. You can follow along with me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for some easier modifications. If you're ready to go, let's do this. All right, let's jump right into our warm up. Getting started with an alternating hamstring stretch plus arm circle. That's a mouthful. <laughs> let's get one leg out in front of us, up on the heel, straight leg. Now let's bring those arms up and over, arm circle, bend over, weight back in your hips. Circle those arms forward. Now let's switch legs, opposite side leg in front. Big stretch, feeling that stretch in your hamstring, calf, glute, lower back, shoulders all working together on this one not a race just warming up multiple body parts at the same time making sure to breathe keeping that lead leg straight and the purpose of our warm-up today is to get your overall body temperature up get your heart rate up a little bit and at the same time get a little added mobility work in very efficient move here Hitting multiple body parts at the same time. Now you may or may not be able to come down quite as far as we are. We encourage you to make this move and really the whole workout your own. Make it work for you. And five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, moving Ooh. on to the next one. We're gonna do a bent over twist. Feet are shoulder width apart head is in line with your spine let's bend over on a 45 degree angle with our arms down straight working on that spinal mobility now let's twist to our right look up with that straight arm and then return opposite side now and return making sure to breathe throughout not holding your breath keep that back straight you don't want it rounded on this one shoulders stay retracted Looking up at that hand as you twist. This one's great for shoulders, chest, back, as well as your spine. Again, a lot of efficient moves here, getting a lot in in a short period of time. Again, do not hold your breath. This one feels great on my lower back right now. Same here. <laughs> Breathing through it here. Last five, four, three, two, one and zero that did feel particularly great did okay moving on to an arm crossover plus butt kick we're going to go side to side kicking our own butt alternating right and left legs and then at the same time performing an arm crossover alternating right and then left arms on top and breathing through again this one's hitting your chest shoulders quads hamstrings glutes all getting warmed up here as well as getting your heart rate up keeping those palms down on this one moving side to side here getting us ready for the strength workout that's it start to mentally prepare yourself here for that work that you're about ready to put in reminding yourself what it is that brought you here today that's going to be the driver that gets you through to the finish line and five Four, three, two, one, zero. Zero, shake those arms loose. Time to get started with our workout. We're gonna get started with a tricep. So we're gonna go back to back to back, three exercises. And we're gonna need both dumbbells for the first one. All right. So go ahead and grab both of your dumbbells. Getting started with a reverse dumbbell row 
plus pause. Gonna guide you through that here. Feet are shoulder width apart. We're gonna bend over on a 45 degree angle, palms facing forward. Now pulling back on those elbows, rowing all the way up. One 1,000 pause up top, return back down. Repeat, up, one 1,000 pause, return. We're gonna do 12 repetitions. Let's do it together. And three, two, one, begin. Row up, one 1,000. Every time, get that nice contraction up at the top. Weights back in your hips. Your upper body's on a 45 degree angle and your head is in line with your spine. And that means we're not looking up, cranking our neck while we're doing this one. But instead, keep that head straight in line with your back. That's seven right there. Pulling up on those elbows every time, not back on the hands, but emphasizing pulling back on those elbows. Like we have a string attached to those elbows. Give that nice pause up at the top every time. Two more. Contracting those back muscles. Almost there. Last one. Excellent job. Okay, we're gonna move to the floor for the next one. And we're taking both of our dumbbells with us. So go ahead and move to the floor. We're gonna do a chest press plus twist. Again, with both dumbbells, adjust your weight as needed. We got 12 repetitions on this one. Line back on our backs, starting with our palms facing forward. We're gonna press up. And as we're pressing up, we're twisting our hands to those palms face inward. Squeeze your chest up at the top. Return back down and right into the next rep. 12 repetitions, beginning in three, two, one. Let's do it. Up, squeeze that chest up at the top every single time. Make sure those dumbbells are over your chest and not over your face. That's it. Keep those dumbbells right over those elbows as well. You exhale as you push the dumbbells up over your chest. Inhale as you bring them back down to the ground. Being sure not to bounce your arms off the floor. Be easier to do so, but stay under control. That's halfway right there. Squeezing that chest up to the top every time. This one's working your chest, shoulders, and triceps, all working together here to make this one happen. Excellent. You have three more. Almost there, almost there. Controlling the way down. Inhale and exhale on your last one. That's 12 right there. Excellent, okay. We're gonna set those dumbbells down. We're coming back up to our feet. And we actually only need one dumbbell for this next one. We're gonna do a suitcase squat. So with that one dumbbell, let's place that one dumbbell in our right hand, that right arm. Make sure to use your legs to pick that dumbbell up. Definitely. Feet are shoulder width apart. So it's called a suitcase squat because we're picking it up like one big heavy suitcase. Opposite arm is out to your side. Weight's gonna be back in your hips. Sit down, head in line with your spine. Bring it back up. 12, excuse me, 12 repetitions. Let's do it in three, two, one, begin. Control that descent and back up, good. By just using one dumbbell and one arm, you're also forcing your core to stabilize on this move. Makes it just that much harder. Get your core involved. Adds a little extra layer of difficulty on this squat. Make sure you wanna keep your shoulders nice and square. That's where all that core work is coming in. And first, we're breaking at those hips, then bending at the knees. That'll help you stay flat on your feet. We don't wanna be coming forward onto our toes. That's number seven. We're gonna do 12 on this side, and then the next time around this superset, we'll do 12 holding the dumbbell in our left hand. That's nine. Breathing in on the way down. Exhaling Exhale. on the way up. You got it. Working those hamstrings, glutes, quadriceps. Last one, right here. All at the same time. Okay. Excellent. We can set the, uh, I'm sorry, pick up our second dumbbell. And we're moving back through this superset, this triset, one more time. So that means we're moving back to that reverse dumbbell row with the pause, feet shoulder width apart, going back to our back, leaning forward on that 45 degree angle, pulling back on those elbows, squeezing to the top, 12 reps, and begin. Exhale. Squeeze at the top every time. Get that full one 1,000. 
up at the top. Helps us emphasize those back muscles, our lats, our upper back. And then our lower back, core, and glutes are working just to hold us in this position. That's halfway point. Great efficient move here. Good. Feel free to adjust your weight as needed throughout the routine. Go up, go down, make it harder or easier. Almost there. Two more. All right, last one right here. Make a count. And 12. Excellent. All right, let's take both those dumbbells with us. Move into the floor one more time for that ch dumbbell chest press plus twist. I notice how I'm getting down to the ground. So if you are with child or if you have experienced a little bit of diastasis recti, keep your weights next to you, down on one side, grab your weights, exhale, and bring them up over your chest. And let's get started in three, two, one, begin. Pressing straight up, twist those palms in, and return. Excellent, controlling that descent. It'd be so much easier to just allow those dumbbells to flop down, but resist that temptation. Get a nice chest contraction up at the top every time. Look, you have a coin in between your chest muscles and you're just trying to squeeze that coin. Ooh, that's a good way to visualize that. Oh, my wife liked that analogy, guys. <laughs> there you go. It takes a lot for me to impress her, so it's, it's pretty rare when it happens. <laughs> you, really, you really have to think about some of these movements and how they're supposed to affect certain muscle groups and body parts, so that's great. That's it. You can't just go through it mindlessly. Be very deliberate in all of your motions. That's number 10. You got two more. Last two right here. Come on, tribe. Show us what you got. Last one. Big squeeze and down. Excellent. Okay. We got one more set of those suitcase squats coming up onto your feet. And again, we only need the one dumbbell for this one. We're going to switch hands. So we were using our right hand, switching over to our left hand for this one. Again, getting set up here. Feet shoulder width apart, using my legs to pick up this dumbbell. Opposite arm out. And we got 12 repetitions. Doing it together. You know the drill. Begin. Control. There's one. Weight back in those hips. Keep those knees out. Back stay straight. Good posture throughout. Focus on that posture. Don't allow yourself to come forward onto your toes. And if you're having trouble with that, that's going to mean that you don't have quite the flexibility in your backside that you need. Something you need to work on. So adjust your depth. If you don't come down quite as far, if you're right here, but with good form, do that. That's it. That's a good adjustment. Good modification. Halfway. Control that descent and the way up. Drive through those heels, those hamstrings, glutes, quadriceps, lower back, core, even your grip just holding on to the dumbbell. Two more reps. Fighting through a tribe. Let's go. There's 11. Last one right here. You got it. Excellent. All right, let's begin our second superset, getting started with a unilateral lower body move. We're gonna be working one side independent of one another. I'm gonna be doing a one leg deadlift. And I'm going to be doing the kickstand deadlift. We need one dumbbell for this one. Start with that dumbbell in your right hand and our feet are shoulder width apart. I'm going to get in the kickstand stance where I have my right toes in line with my left heel. We're both going to go down by putting our weight back in our hips, but I'm actually going to bring my back leg up as I do so, keeping my back straight and return, standing straight up. So mine is just more of a balance friendly version. You decide which one is right for you. We got eight repetitions on each leg. Let's do it, tribe. And three, two, one, begin. Bend that knee, weight back in the hips, and then return. Squeeze those glutes up at the top. You are inhaling as you move the dumbbell down and exhaling as you come right back up. Keeping that head in line with your spine. So that means your head and gaze is actually gonna travel down with you as the rest of your body goes down. This is number seven right here. Let's do one more on this side. And eight, excellent. Okay, let's switch it up. Same setup, just opposite side now. And three two one begin 
not about being perfect on our balance on this one just about putting in the work getting a little bit better every time if you start with one variation and you want to make it harder or easier feel free to do so come back repeat this workout use more weight less weight Three switch up more. your variation that's right excellent breathing in on the way down breathing out on the way up that's number seven you have one more and eight excellent okay we are going to need that second dumbbell for the next one moving into an upper body move we're going to do a dumbbell curl plus arnold press two for one move here feet shoulder width apart hands just at our sides we're going to start by performing a curl bring those pinkies up as we curl in now we're going to press straight up overhead twisting those palms forward now return back down that's one repetition so it's one two three four for 12 repetitions let's do it together in three two one begin nice and controlled on the way up and on the way down especially that curl be really easy to just allow those dumbbells to flop down it's all about control here but really to get that strength and to build that lean muscle you need that time under tension not a race not a cardio move here making sure to get that eccentric phase that lowering phase working excellent job breathing throughout do not hold your breath one into the next that is the halfway point six more of these to go and even though it's 12 repetitions it sure feels like more because it's a two for one move here you're not imagining things that burn is starting to kick in and when it does you got to remind yourself what it is that brought you here today to begin with what is it what are you working towards trying to get more fit lose weight gain, gain muscle just get better at life whatever it is stay focused on a tribe two more almost there come on fight through we're fighting with you last one let's do it and zero excellent nice okay i'm gonna go a little heavier on this next one we're gonna do a shrug plus a calf raise so it's an upper body plus lower body move together we're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart, dumbbells at our side. At the same time, we're gonna shrug, bring our shoulders to our ears, and come up onto the balls of our feet, flexing those calves. We got 12 repetitions, let's do it together. <laughs> and three, two, one, begin. Pardon the shrug faces. Oh yeah, this is where we make those really attractive <laughs> facial expressions. Me in particular. My wife always looks gorgeous, so. Oh, stop. There it is. No, don't stop. <laughs> Come on, flex those traps and those calves up at the top. With control. Flex them with control and bring it back down with control. Excellent. It'd be way easier to just use momentum on this. But avoid that temptation. That's halfway. Working our traps, which are our upper back muscles, our grip, biceps, forearms, as well as our calves. Get that full extension up onto the balls of your feet and flex those calves up at the top. Three more. Almost there, come on. Woo. Doesn't look like much, but it'll catch up with you. I feel it traveling up my glutes here. Last one, Last good. One. All right, let's set those, <laughs> set those dumbbells down. We only need one going back to either that one leg deadlift or the kickstand deadlift. I'm gonna shake my grip out here. Ooh, I'm feeling it too. Okay. Burn so good, Tribe, come on. One dumbbell needed. Feet shoulder width apart, eight repetitions each side. You know it. Let's go. Three, two, one, begin. Can keep that head in line with your spine. Both variations require you focus on your balance. Working your hamstrings, glutes, quadricep, stability, balance, lower back, all working together here. Four more. Excellent job. Trying your best to get that full range of motion as you come up and down. That's number seven. Feeling this one working. Inhale down and exhale as you come up for number eight. 
All right, switching sides now, same move, right into it, no downtime, three, two, one, begin. And you might find on these that you have one side that's a little stronger than the other. You don't, might be easier on your dominant side. And that's a great reason why we do these unilateral moves. Helps you even out any imbalances you may be developing in your day-to-day -day life. Always be incorporating these unilateral exercises for that reason. That's number five. You have three more reps. Breathing in on the way down, out on the way up. Come on, Tribe, you got it. No quitting you, let's see it. Right here, right here. And eight. Excellent, nice okay. Job. So we need that second dumbbell now, moving into the curl, plus Arnold press, that two for one. Let's get it going here, dumbbells at our side. 12 repetitions, three, two, one. Begin, curl, twist, and press, return. Excellent, break it down into four parts. One, two, three, four, good. One into the next. Again, reminding yourself what it is that brought you here. You gotta put in that work to accomplish that goal. And that's what you're doing right here. It's all about that discipline. Anybody can work out when they're feeling good, but you gotta be able to do it on the days when you're not feeling good. Halfway point right here. Six more Arnold press plus curls to go. And trust me, we have those days, plenty of those days, but we're not feeling it either. You're not alone. You just gotta turn that mind off. That's it. And start moving. It's all about just showing up. Really, that's what it comes down to. Showing up, hitting that play button. And that's what you're doing right here, right now. Come on, Tribe, let's go. Three more. Almost there. Fighting through that burn. You are stronger than that burn. Let's see it. Come on. Almost there, pushing through to that finish line. Last one. Make it count. And zero, excellent. Ooh, good. All right, we got the shrug plus calf raise. As I said, I'm going a little heavier for better or worse on this one. Use your legs to pick up those dumbbells. 12 repetitions, doing it together. In three, two, one, begin. Bring those shoulders to your ears. Come all the way up onto the balls of your feet and contract every time. Again, this one doesn't look like much, but it will wear on you. Come on. Especially after those Arnold presses overhead. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. It's a brutal combo. Six more. It's tough, but you're tougher. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Let's see it right here, Hasfit Tribe. Doing it for yourself. Come on. Last one right here. This is 12. Ah, zero. Excellent work. All right, next tricep coming at you, and we're gonna both grab a lighter pair of dumbbells. So yes. do that if you have access to it. And if you don't have a lighter pair of dumbbells, maybe even a pair of water bottles to do the trick for or this Or a couple one. of soup cans, Yep. whatever you have. We're gonna do a one, three tempo straight arm reverse fly. So let's get started. Feet shoulder width apart, bend over 45 degree angle. Arms are straight. Now we're gonna spend one second raising our arms up. One, 1,000. Here's the kicker. One, two, three seconds way down. One, 1,000, one, two, three, on the way down. We're gonna do 10 repetitions in total and we're gonna feel it. <laughs> All right, let's do it together in three, two, one, begin. One, 1,000, one, two, three. That slow tempo, that emphasis on the negative lowering phase is what makes this one so unique and so effective. Woo. So it's working our upper back as well as our shoulders, working together, even a little bit of core work and glute work just to support this position. This is number six. Controlling that descent, nice and slow, good. Almost there, 10 in total. Two more. Make sure to breathe. Last one, and Zero, excellent wow. work. Okay, we're moving on to our arms. Gonna do a bicep, tricep combination, one dumbbell in each hand. I'm sticking with my lighter weight. I'm gonna do 10 repetitions. Let's take our right arm, 
pop it up overhead with our elbow bent. Now, at the same time, we're gonna perform a hammer curl plus a dumbbell tricep extension. Back down, up, back down. 10 repetitions in total, let's do it. Three, two, one. One arm, that curling arm, is working our forearm as well as our bicep. Opposite arm is hitting that tricep. And throughout, our core is forced to work. Good, nice, and under control here. Making sure to breathe. Exhale as you move your weights up. And breathing in as you're lowering them. Control that descent as we've been speaking about all day. Two more. Here's nine, last one coming up. Good, okay, not quite done. Time to flip sides. Same move, opposite side, and begin. A little bit of a brain exercise here. Yeah, a little bit of the, <laughs> the pat your head and rub your tummy drill. Hey, that's good. Nothing wrong with working that brain out at the same time. Definitely not. And focus on that breathing. One Halfway. into the next. Adjusting your weights as you need to. You need more of a challenge, less of a challenge. Just adjust your weights. Almost there. There's nine, last one coming up. And 10, excellent job. Okay, we got a lower body move coming next. I'm gonna do a full depth side lunge. And I'm going to adjust my depth to about a quarter side lunge. Feet are shoulder width apart to start. Let's step out to our left side. We're gonna reach with our dumbbells, one inside our leg, one in outside. I'm gonna come all the way down. And I'm about right here, quarter length, quarter depth. Back up. We're gonna do eight on each side. Mm -hmm. And begin, nice, big step. You decide which depth is most appropriate for you. Try to keep that inside leg straight. You're gonna feel that stretch in that leg as well. Putting that weight back in our hips as we sit down. Whichever depth you choose, you're still putting that weight in your hips. Breathing in on the way down, exhaling on the way up. Here's number seven. Keep that back straight, last one. Good, switching sides now. Same move, just stepping in the opposite direction. And three, two, one, let's do it. <laughs> Little, little dance moves over here. <laughs> breathing in, breathing out. And again, on these unilateral moves, you may find one side's a little stronger than the other, and that's okay, just work through it. Keep coming back, and that imbalance will start to work itself out. Here's six, two more. Come on, try. what do you got right here? Almost there. And eight. Perfect. Okay, we're going a little lighter in weight. I'm going back to the top of this superset, back to those straight arm reverse flies. I'm gonna shake it out. Shake that grip out. Both <sighs> arms starting straight. 10 repetitions, one second on the way up, three on the way down. Feet shoulder width apart. Bend over, 45 degree angle. Let's do it, tribe. One, 1,000. One, two, three. Repeat. Good. As, these, as this workout progresses and continues to get tougher, it becomes more about that mental toughness and less about that physical aspect. Keep reminding yourself, what brought you here? What's your why? What are you doing this for? Who are you doing this for? Come on. That's eight, you have two more after this. Finish strong, squeeze those back muscles. Last one. Excellent. Okay, going back to that two for one, hammer curl plus overhead tricep. Pop that one arm straight up overhead. Opposite is gonna do that hammer curl. In three, two, one. Good. Squeeze, bo squeeze both your tricep and bicep up at the top. It's not always about looking pretty, but it is about getting it done. That's what we're doing right here, come on. Those who believe they can and those who believe they can't are both right. Which one of you has Fit Tribe? Two more. Proving it to yourself. And 10. Ah, burn so Ooh. good, switch it up, opposite side. Right into it, come on, let's go, begin. 
Minding yourself, you're a fighter, not a quitter. Getting outside of our comfort zone today. Keep challenging yourself with your weight, using an appropriate weight. You're being challenged at the same time, using proper form. Here's number seven. Three more. Come on, almost there, squeezing up at the top. Whew. And last one. Excellent. Ten. Okay, going back to the side lunge variation, you decide which is appropriate for you. Last one of these, you got it, right here. Eight on each leg. And three, two, one, zero. Let's do it. Come on, tribe. There it is, weight back in your hips. Good posture, good form. Challenging yourself, because that's the only way that change happens. Rep by rep. Halfway. Putting in the work. Every repetition is getting you just that much closer to your goals. Almost there, come on. Last one. And eight. All right, last eight of these. Switching sides. Fighting through right here. Two, one, let's do it. Nice big step. Good. Weight back in your hips. Inhale, exhale as you push yourself back up. Work on your hamstrings, glutes, quadriceps, a little bit of core, a little bit of form and grip. Also some mobility work on this one. And balance, stability. There's two more. Working a lot with this one move. Last one, make it count. And zero, you got it. All right, let's finish off this workout with one more tri-set. We have three exercises focusing on our core, all isometric moves, meaning we're holding a position. Let's move to the floor. These are gonna be timed, so we don't need to count any repetitions. Getting into a side plank position. We're on our forearm. I'm gonna come up onto my feet. And I'm gonna leave my bottom leg down on the ground. So we're gonna come up, bring that hip up, back is straight, opposite arm is up, and that's it. Just hold, folks. You're looking at it. Make sure that your shoulder, your elbow is right underneath your shoulder. Holding, keep that core straight. You want a nice straight line from that foot to your inside shoulder. Hold and breathe. We're gonna switch sides, do the opposite side halfway through. Core stays tight, you got it. Switching sides in five, four, three, two, one, no downtime, so try your best to switch sides as fast as you can here. And we're right back up and into it. Again, focus on that oxygen. Get that breathing going and hold throughout this core workout. It's gonna be all about going to that happy place, focusing on what motivates you. Don't focus on the burn. Instead, reminding yourself what it is that brought you here today to begin with. Keeping that arm nice and tucked underneath you. We're switching it up here in five, four, three, two, one. Let's turn over now into a traditional plank in a prone position on both of our forearms. I'm coming up onto the balls of my feet. And I'm gonna do my plank from my knees. You decide which one's appropriate for you, but get there and hold. On this one, I want you to focus on squeezing those glutes as well as your abs. By getting those glutes a nice squeeze throughout, really helps you to maintain a flat back. We don't want your butt way up in the air and we don't want it sinking. Again, we want a nice straight line all throughout your body. Remembering to breathe through this movement. And of course, I'm doing this from my knees and I'm ensuring that I don't have any abdominal pressure uh, as I'm doing this particular movement. That's it, do not hold your breath. You will regret it if you do. Hold, hold, hold here. Let's go, last 10 seconds of hold. Come on, keep those glutes squeezed too for five, four, three, two, one. Last one in the tricep. We're going back to our backs, turn over, almost like we're getting ready to do a crunch. I want you to put your hands in the small of your back, under your back. Lying back down. Now we're gonna bring your shoulder blades up off the floor and we're gonna hold again the isometric contraction. Not reaching with your neck. Bring those elbows off the floor, just squeezing those abs. So it's not here with your head, 
but instead come up, bring those abs into a nice contraction and then hold that contraction with those abs. It's all about that time under tension. Doesn't look like much, but combined with these other ones, we're not giving those abs a break. Forcing them to work, forcing them to be challenged. And again, that's where change comes from. Hold it, hold it. You got it. Hold and breathe here. 10 more seconds on this one. And we're gonna go one more time through it. Come on, Tribe, you got it. Focus on that Y for three, two, one, zero. Turning over, going back into that side plank position. That means one more time around. On that forearm, get into that position and hold. That's it right there. Abs stay tight, core is tight. Don't listen to that core. It's got plenty left. It's all mental at this point in time. Elbow is in line with my shoulder again. Form is very important. Back is straight. Fighting through right here, come on. How tough are you? Proving it to yourself today. All about that mental toughness. If you can do this, you can do anything. Come on. Last 10 seconds on this side and then we're switching over other side in five, four, three, two, one. Same move, opposite side. Come on, tribe. Stick with us here, stick with us. Come on, fighting to that end. Fighting to that end. Don't hand, we're up. Woo. Don't stop when it hurts. We're gonna stop when we're done. All the way to that finish line. You're a fighter, not a quitter. Let's see it right here, tribe. Come on. Breathe and hold. Breathe and hold, that's it. Come on. Almost there, almost there. Inhale and exhale. Really help you get through this movement. Don't hold your breath. What brought you here? What is it? Staying focused on it. For five, four, three, two, one. To the prone position we go. Back to the plank. Come on. Let's go. Staying tough. Staying tough with us. We're right there with you. Back to that traditional plank and hold. If you want to throw in a little extra credit here, you can come up onto one leg and hold. You decide what's appropriate for you, but do not give up. Come on. Let's see it right here. And if you are pregnant like myself and you're feeling like even from the knees is a little too much, you can take this to a bench. That's a great um, you idea. You can do it from your knees with your elbows and forearms on a bench. Whatever you do, keep moving. Come on. We're right there with you, feeling that same burn. Come on. Millions, thousands at home, whatever it is, doing the same workout with you. We're all feeling that burn together. Switching it up in five, four, three, two, one, zero. Almost there. To our backs we go. That ISO curl up on our backs. Hands at the small of our back. And we're curling up, bringing those elbows up off the floor, contracting those abdominal muscles. Again, do not curl with your reach with your neck, but instead just keep a constant squeeze on those abs. And for me, I have a gentle squeeze on my abs, remembering to breathe. I don't have any coning or doming in the middle of my linea alba here, so this is still a safe movement for me to perform. Now holding our breath, staying focused, staying tight. Here we go, here we go. Almost there, come on, tribe. In it together, last 10 seconds. Squeezing those abs, squeezing them. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. Woo. And that is it. Excellent. Excellent work out there. All right, take a couple deep breaths and we're gonna move into a cool down. We're staying on the floor because our, <laughs> our first cool down is a lower body move here from the floor. So you see we're not not going too far. Not in a hurry to jump up. Nope. Okay, we're gonna start with a lying side quad stretch. So go ahead and lie down on your side. Move my pack here. And lying down on our side, we're gonna reach back, grab that top, the leg, top leg, pull back on either your foot or your ankle, whichever feels most comfortable. Try your best to keep that knee into your side. And 
stretching that quadricep. And we're just performing a static stretch. So that just means we're holding here. And any of our static stretches, we're always trying to get to like 85, 90% of what you're capable of. That means we want to feel a good stretch, but we're not looking to feel any pain. A lot of work on our quads today. It's a great move for them. We're going to turn over, switch sides in five, four, three, two, one. Excellent work. Slowly come on over to the opposite side. Same move. And getting started in three, two, one, begin. And the purpose of our cool down today, like always, is just to give your heart rate a chance to come down nice and slowly. And at the same time, we're getting some extra mobility and flexibility work in. Great time after the workout to do that. Can also help you with some of your delayed onset muscle soreness, your DOMS, and relieve some of that soreness as well. Nice, big, deep breaths. Holding this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, we're coming up onto all fours. We're gonna work on our posterior mobility here. We're gonna do a scapular stretch. So with your hands shoulder width apart, I want you to first lower your upper body, squeezing your scapulas together like somebody has their finger in the middle of your back and you're trying to squeeze that finger. And then I want you to reverse it like somebody's pulling you straight up from the middle of your back and you're stretching that scapula. Keep your head straight on this one and hold. Now reverse it. Just a great one for your overall shoulder and upper body mobility. And after those straight arm reverse flies, I have a feeling I'm gonna need this exercise a little bit more. Exactly, hitting <laughs> those same muscles. Squeezing those scapulars together and reverse it. Pulling straight up like somebody's hooking you from the middle of that back. Like you're drawing your scapulars away from your spine. That's a great analogy. And relax. Okay, we're moving into a similar move, a little different here. We're gonna do a cat cow. So. Uh, this one's going to be a rounding of your whole back. So let's start by bringing that upper back, upper back up, but at the same time, we're also bringing that chin to your chest. Nice and slowly. And then now let's reverse it. Bring your abdomen to the floor, shoulders back, and head up. Nice, big, deep breaths. Reverse it now, again, being pulled up from the middle of your back, but this time curling that chin into your chest. And reverse it one last time. Abdomen to the floor, shoulders back, head up. Excellent, okay, one more yoga inspired move for us here. Let's go and do a downward dog. So let's come up onto our feet from this position and we're gonna bring our hips backwards, relaxing at the shoulders, keeping those legs straight. Act like somebody's behind you, pulling back on your hips, feeling a stretch in your calves, hamstrings, glutes, lower back, shoulders, all getting hit together. And as you see Claudia likes to do, you can also walk it out right to left leg. That just puts a little extra emphasis on each side. Big deep breaths. And now let's come down onto our knees, arms out straight in front of us, moving into a child's pose. We're gonna sit back, sitting back on uh, our glutes onto our calves and feet, shoulders relaxed out in front of us, straight arms out straight in front of us. I feel a good stretch in my lats right now with this one. Yeah, definitely. Again, hitting multiple body parts, including your lats, shoulders, lower back, quadriceps, glutes, all getting stretched out. Let's go back through the sequence one more time. Coming back up onto our hands, into a downward dog. Again, just a great overall posterior stretch. Great one to do everything from improving your posterior mobility to relieving any lower back or shoulder pain, improving posture. A lot of great benefits of this one. Too many really to name. Just a, should be a staple in your arsenal and in your toolkit. 
Okay, let's come down one last time into that child's pose position. And this is it, tribe. Oh, good, good cool down. <laughs> and excellent work today, tribe. Way to show up, get the job done. It's all about that discipline, showing up for your workout, even when you don't feel like it, especially when nobody's watching. Just you versus you, and today you won that mental battle, and you're going to use this as a jumping off point for the rest of your day, and tomorrow you're going to do it again, and you're going to remind yourself that if you can do this, you can and will do anything. Big deep breaths here for five, four, three, two, one, zero, and that excellent is it folks that's a wrap we made it we did you made it excellent work out there can we just give my wife a round of applause no. for doing this while 23 weeks pregnant no i mean she blows my mind every <laughs> no. single day so just want to give a second to give my wife well, a shout you. out thank you for working out with us today we appreciate your support and you can support us further by downloading our free app it's available for both android and ios you can also stop by our store, pick up some HazFit gear, or our diet guide, Eating for Life. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, as well as following us on any of your favorite social media platforms. Again, thank you so much for working out with us today. It's been our privilege. I'm Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia. And we will see you at your next workout.